Hello everybody, it's me your old pal Danny and we are going to take a drive down the Branson Strip. It is April 2023 here in Branson and I assume in your town also. It's hard to believe it's 2023. Sounds like science fiction something. But a lot of things have changed and a lot of things have not changed here in Branson. Just going to kind of take a drive, look around. As you can see, Bigfoot over there to our right. The Dinosaur Museum and the world's largest toy museum is to the left. Thank you veterans is what the sign says and we do, that's something I really love about Branson. Branson loves and supports our nation's veterans and their families, God and country. Something that a lot of places have kind of gotten away from, but we are proud to do so here in Branson. There's Whitewater to our left. I heard a little rumor that Whitewater is going to change locations, as hard as that is to believe. We'll watch for that news. They are going to have a uh, going to have a season there this year. They're opening in May. We'll pass CC's Pizza, Starbucks, the Dutton's Family Theater. Dutton's is getting a facelift this year, so be sure to look for that. I'm sure we'll have we'll have more about it as the year progresses. There's the Hughes Brothers Theater. Heavy metal high rise for you go Carters. Of course, Andy's frozen custard. Here's my friend Hattie's place, Caprice Motor Inn. Hiya, Hattie. Thanks to Starvin Marvin's. Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf. And I'm gonna see if I can get a good angle on the Ferris wheel. There you can see it a little bit as well as some go-carters. There's Ripley's Believe It or Not, Believe It or Not, up ahead of us. They have all kinds of things indoors that you can see, but what's kind of cool is just driving down the strip. They have a lot of things you can look at and get out and get out and touch and feel and smell, including the Incredible Hulk made out of auto parts. There at Ripley's, believe it or not. It is a beautiful day here in Branson. I'm not seeing a cloud in front of me, a cloud in the sky, man-made or otherwise. And that's a blessing. So many times, it starts out we're going to have a nice blue sky and then the clouds start to appear so I'm glad that's not the case today. We'll let this person turn in, give them the old flash. No wave back but that's okay I guess. There's the Incredible Hulk we just passed. Up ahead of us is Ruby Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday is just not the same as it used to be, but uh, I guess I shouldn't dwell on the, dwell on the path. I like their hummus. That's what my big my big problem is with Ruby Tuesday. Over there, if you can see to the right, I'm sorry, to the left is Retro Mania. I was looking at the right of the building up there. Prisoner Transport Bus. Can anybody tell us what movie the Prisoner Transport Bus is from? They have uh, some of the marquees for Rambo, Gremlins, a lot of 80s, a lot of 80s stuff there. Miami Vice, lots of cool things. Here comes the traffic. Guy on his little scooter there always look fun. I've ridden them a few times. They are fun. There's a helicopter. I'm just giving you a play-by-play. 
Come on, light, I'm ready to go. And away we go. Macadoodle celebrating 10 years of serving you. Pink Jeep Tours, I see them all over the place. Pass Clay Cooper's Theater. Home of, of course, Clay Cooper, the Hay Goods, Bean Z. Number one hits of the 60s, Hot Rods, High Heels. They have a bunch of good shows there. There's Ozark Land. Everybody loves Ozark Land. Just up here to our right, you can see King Kong's Derriere sitting on top of the Hollywood Wax Museum. Good to see so many people in town enjoying themselves. Oh, I would let that car go, but I don't want to uh, have them hit those people walking. Presley's Country Jubilee across the street from Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. If you have not been to a Cheddar's before, I will just say good food and good prices. I know quite a few of the uh, folks that, well, I'll say quite a few, several people that work there. There's Landry's. It's just good to see so many people out today. there at the Branson Boardwalk. Fountains aren't exactly going. They're barely going. They were working on that a little bit. you all you know this kind of gets to be a one-sided conversation for me and you know it's hard to, I picture different people that comment on our page and, and uh, I see them as I'm as I'm uh, taking these drives but it's kind of lonely so I'll, I'll ask you a question or two and maybe you could answer in the comments section one question is so far this year 2023 the science fiction number 2023 have you been to Branson yet? That's number one. Number two is, if not, when is the next time that you're going to be in Branson? Kind of a windy day here in Branson. There's Walmart. Terry Wayne Sanders used to have a funny line about Walmart. I can't remember what it, not exactly how it goes, but he would say something about, uh, know kings paupers and you know something anyway you see everybody at Walmart that used to be a little more true before Branson got so big and in so many different places Walmart and uh, I guess the gas station is still there but it really used to be one of the only gas stations up there on the corner of Gretna and the strip you would see everybody in that gas station. So we pass Grand Country. Go ahead. There you go. There's Branson Duck Tours next door to Ozark Mountain T-Shirt Company. A great place. And TNT Old Time Photos. Had some good pizza, kind of the, the, their uh, pizza buffet the other night before I went miniature golf course uh, golfing at their miniature golf course. There's the Trump store to our right, praying for President Trump right now and our country. Now, this is 
Jerry Presley's Theater, the God and Country Theater to our right. He is Elvis's blood cousin. They really are related. He showed me one time a uh, letter that Elvis had written him. So there is really that history. And, and uh, Jerry's a... Uh, Jerry's a guy that's been around Branson for a long time. There's Billy Bob's Dairyland. Up here to our left. Now I do understand that they have an ATM machine in Billy Bob's now, but they still do not take cash. Anyway, the last time I was in there, so there's been several times when I've gone in and like, oh, dang it, I forgot they only take cash and I had to leave and go back or just make it another, make it another time. Straight ahead of us is Dolly Parton Stampede as we pass another TNT old time photo shop. Joe Tinoco. Joe and Tamara, they run that place. Rusty. There's Legends in Concert in 6 up here at the Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater. So if you have not answered that question yet, I'm wanting to know if you've been to Branson this year. And if not, if you're going to be here, when the next time you're going to be here? Will it be this year? You know, there's some folks that watch our channel that maybe they've came to Branson a hundred times, but now uh, due to health reasons or moving to another part of the country, they just can't make the trip anymore. I appreciate I'm giving them a shout out and I appreciate them watching. Feel free to share your memories, things that you like about Branson. Maybe you see a place that wasn't here the last time you were here and you'd like to make a comment of, oh, I remember the maze used to be up here, or, oh, I remember the tower that used to be able to walk way up in the air and look out over the Ozarks, or the old wax museum before the Hollywood wax museum. You know, there's all kinds of things that that we can talk about. There's Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater. Had some family that saw the sick show last night. I think this guy got tired of uh, tired of me going kind of slow behind him. That's okay. I'll go up here and I'll get behind him. And we'll all still be in the same line, but he probably feels feels good being in front of us. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold my hand out the window. Hopefully I don't get shot. Hold my hand out the window and wave at him up here. That's a pretty red car. think about doing something artery there's a cross that's one thing about Branson there are crosses and American flags all over the place just a minute or two if you have not liked shared subscribed all of those things please do so hey you know what just to be ornery I'm gonna pass these people and I gave them a little honk <laughs> now they're they're uh, they will probably get to pass me again 
But it'd be really nice if this left turn signal. Let's see what happens. Take this time to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, name, a, name your next child after Danny Branson. All of those things. I just appreciate you watching and taking part. Come on, left turn signal. Come on! Hey, both of them. It rains on the just and the unjust, the Bible says. I won't tell you which one I am. Well, thanks to Jesus, I'm just. Well, hello there, pretty lady. Smile. Look a little nicer. If you watch this, please know I'm not picking on you. I just thought your sad face was sad. over to the highway. Here's another question because I like to ask questions. I'm that kind of guy. Remember that song? I'm that kind of girl. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. Even these days I know the difference. Um, if you ever, the question is, do you ever take these back streets and drive around, kind of look at the neighborhoods and things like that whenever you are in Branson? I hesitate to do, well, you know what, I'm not going to hesitate about this. We're going to show you something really cool. Many of you know my old friend, Terry Wayne Sanders, and the character that he plays, Grandma Beulah. Well, this is Grandma Beulah's house. I don't know if you can see that sign up there. Okay, I'm not doing anything, you know. I'm going to get out. Hopefully there's nobody staying here right now. This is an Airbnb. Hold on here. This is an Airbnb. But I am going to show you. Well, you can tell I've really been around the Ozarks. Going to show you. Going to show you Grandma Beulah's. Established 2020. Of course, Grandma Beulah has been around for a really long time. But you can stay here. And there's different uh, memorabilia, different things here. And Terry Wayne Sanders, just go to his Facebook page if you would like to learn more. And I think Grandma Beulah has a Facebook page. So you can see we're kind of, if you want to know where this is, down there is the car from the Dukes of Hazard, the General Lee. That's the Branson Strip. And you can just drive right on up. Not necessarily in the driveway, but drive up and uh, take a look. Thanks for watching, everybody.